Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new, I'm Skye and I'm so happy that you're here for this one. Um, just a forewarning, the sun is just being super goofy today and we're going like bright dark, bright dark, so please forgive that. But I am so excited about today's video. It's going to be a little bit more of a vlog style, maybe more day in the life. Um, I'm not gonna be taking you through my entire day, but I'm gonna share the things that I think you might enjoy. So we are gonna start the video off by taking a trip to World Market. We're gonna do a shop with me there. I have a few specific items that I am looking for and hoping to pick up there. Then we're gonna come back to the house and I'll share whatever I ended up grabbing. I have a nice pile at my feet here of different items that I have been collecting over the last couple of weeks. Some items for our new bathroom renovation and I'm really excited to show you those pieces. So I've got, I think, items from Zara Home from McGee & Co. And this was my first time ordering from either of those places. So um, I'm really excited to share about that. Then also from Target, hopefully World Market, and Amazon. So just a few pieces from each places and wanted to take an opportunity to share those with you. And then I also want to thank Decinio for sponsoring this video today. I have some beautiful artwork and frames that I'm going to be sharing from them as well. Then we are going to do a little bit of a grocery haul. I have a Costco delivery happening later on this afternoon and I haven't shared a grocery haul here on my channel for a little while and thought that it would be fun. I know that I enjoy watching them. I feel like it gives me a little bit of inspiration even if it's not the same store that I'm shopping at. Just gives me different ideas. I get in like a recipe and a grocery rut all the time. So so it's fun to see kind of what other people are picking up and usually when I do that it gives me lots of ideas for our family so I hope you enjoy that and then there are a couple different things we're gonna do at home today I need to get better organized in a few areas of our home and just get into better rhythms. So we'll be chatting about that towards the end of the video today. So loads and loads of things. I hope you will um, just sit back and enjoy, but I'm gonna go get Milo off to school and we're gonna head to World Market. World Market has so many beautiful spring florals, spring wreaths, and vases. I am telling y'all, some of the glassware that they had, these glass vases were just very uniquely shaped and colored. I love this brown one. I actually almost picked that one up for fall. I think that'd be really pretty in the fall, but I just can't fathom thinking about the fall yet when we still have to get to summer. So I didn't, but I do also love these that kind of have that like bluish hue to them. While I was here, I was looking for a big mirror to be our vanity mirror in our half bath. They had some really beautiful mirrors and surprisingly, I loved this round one. It doesn't come through on camera, but in person, this was one of the largest round mirrors I'd ever seen. So I kind of just kept that one in my back pocket. I wanted to try something I already have at home first to see what I thought about it. And if I didn't like it, then the plan was to come back to World Market. I also love this plant. I kind of loved how it was just wild and free and 
Uh, it kind of just like had one side that just went a little crazy. I felt like it was a decent price, definitely comparable to something you would find at Target. And these candle holders were very interesting. They felt a little too fragile to have in my home, <laughs> but I loved that green color. It would be a really pretty pop of green for spring and summer, and then I could even see bringing those out again around the holiday season. I love all of the baskets that they have at World Market. This is one of my favorite places. This and Home Goods and Target, of course, to go looking for baskets. They're a little bit pricier, I feel like, at World Market, but they have such a wide selection that sometimes it's worth it because you know you're gonna find something that you love. I also always take a little while to go and smell all of the soaps, and I have to look at the clothes. Look at this green jumper. Is that not the cutest thing? I feel like the quality of the clothing at World Market is uh, just really good and I also love that they're unique pieces. They're more like boutique style pieces and they're very affordable and just super cute. So I definitely have picked up things over the years from World Market and they also have like the cutest jewelry. I got some little earrings for Myla for Easter and they've got hats and bags and all the accessories. How cute are these little Easter basket kits? They come with everything you need to set up your Easter basket. I may or may not have grabbed a few, I don't know, but they're adorable and I was really happy to come across those because it takes all of the thinking out of it and you're good to go. The selection of outdoor pillows, poofs, rugs, blankets, you name it, at World Market and their outdoor furniture is just amazing. I can't wait to go back once the pollen season is behind us and I can actually put some things out on my front porch. Now, I wanted to share this console table because we have one very similar. We get questions about it all the time and I always refer to the Everett table at World Market. It's so similar to ours. We ended up putting an antique wax on ours, so it's a bit darker, but the style is the same. 
and it's just such a great table. I could not get over how much I loved this floor cushion. It is kind of like a black and creamy color and it just, it looks vintage to me. Seeing it up close, I couldn't quite tell if it was like a paisley design, which I'm not usually into, but I don't know if it was the color scheme or what. I thought it was just a bold, fun surprise. Now I didn't get much footage of it, but this huge basket there right on the left really went fast there. <laughs> that one is one I'm considering grabbing to go above our armoire in our entryway. So I keep thinking about it and I'm not sure, but I might go back and, <laughs> and grab it because I can't seem to find one that I love used. I love all of the frames at World Market. They have all of the gold things right now. I am back from World Market. I still am working on my coffee and I want to go ahead and give y'all this haul. I hope that you love it. I'm really excited about a lot of these pieces, but I want to go ahead and start with our video sponsor today, which is Decinio. You all know how much I love adding artwork to our walls. And I was so excited when I discovered the company Decinio. They offer trendy, high quality Scandinavian prints and frames, and they update their collection regularly. So there's always something new and exciting. They have something for everyone and every style. They ship to countries worldwide, including the US within two to four days. And they've recently opened a US based warehouse. This has been amazing and super beneficial uh, for me at least because shipping was so fast. I could not believe it. They have their own in-house design team that works to bring you unique and trendy designs that you can only find exclusively with them. And I'm going to have a link down in my video description below so you can go and check out Decineo for yourself. I know that they're running a big sale at the beginning of April, so make sure that you go and check them out. I was so excited when I was browsing through their website and discovered that they have these like gallery wall kits. So essentially you can find what style or theme that you like and are drawn to and would like for your home. And they have everything listed out essentially like in a cart for you, all of the prints, all of the frames, all of the correct sizes to go with the gallery wall. And all you have to do is hit add to cart, then it'll ship so fast to your home and you can go ahead and hang it up. I am so excited to have discovered this brand and just their wide variety of artwork to add to our walls and add some character to our home. And I would love to thank Decinio for offering such a generous discount for my followers. You can use code house and home for 45% off of prints. This does exclude personalized prints and canvases, but you can also get 10% off of frames until April 9th. So shop their beautiful prints and frames at the link in my video description. I highly recommend checking them out and also taking advantage of this amazing discount. I don't think I specified this at the beginning of the video, but I have been to World Market like maybe three times in the last two weeks, buying, returning, buying, exchanging, all the things. Um, and the light is still just going crazy, so sorry, bear with me. But um, so some of these items you may have already seen styled in our home, and probably a lot of them actually, if you watched my spring home tour but I will go ahead and put some of that footage back into this video when I'm referring to specific products so you can get a little bit of styling inspiration for them. So for World Market, I ended up grabbing this big pillow and I love this pillow. It is super neutral, but I wanted something for the sectional that we have in the living room. I really wanted to keep things neutral and then add pops of green and different like taupey colors. Unfortunately, World Market tends to lean a bit more towards the boho style. And so I didn't end up finding much there as far as pillows go, but I did get this. Now, what I will say is that if you have like outdoor seating, World Market is the place to go for outdoor pillows. They had a wonderful selection. I'm gonna go back 
Um, I'm waiting for our crazy pollen season to die down a bit before I start adding in uh, more decor and things like that outside. So I have not done like my spring porch decor or anything like that because it will all be yellow in two days. So anyway, that was World Market. Also, this white tuberose, I think that's how you say it, room spray, two die for. I am not a huge room spray person. A lot of things tend to give me a headache, but this is incredible. It I, I don't even really have the words to describe what it is. It's not heavily floral. Those scents really bother me. Um, it, it just is like a happy springy scent. So I would highly recommend checking this out. I ended up also grabbing the um, reed diffuser of it and I have it sitting in my office. I have noticed that if I'm sitting in there for quite a while, like editing a video or something, it does tend to bother my head. So I'll have to like open the doors, that kind of thing. If you have it in a big area, I don't think it would be an issue at all but I love it. And I'm not bringing the reed diffuser out here just because um, I don't wanna spill it. I am known for spilling things. Friends, I thought the sun was gonna come back and it's not. So I'm gonna brighten this up just a little bit. All right, couple more things from World Market. These are obviously used. So as I mentioned, I have just been frequenting that store. These are the brass candle holders that they have. And the reason I ended up grabbing these, they're a little bit different than my style. There's the sun. A little bit different than my style, a little more sleek and modern than I would like, but I didn't see anything else in this antique brass color. There were a lot of like really brassy, like bright gold, but that's that doesn't go along with the other candle holders that I have. I did grab these ribbed candles from there as well, and we have been enjoying them. We burned them for uh, my friend's baby shower, and we also had on our little centerpiece, and again, if you saw our spring home tour, then you saw these, but I had a couple of these hearth and hand vases um, staggered in between the candlestick holders, candles, candlesticks, and it just was like very simple. My friend is a little bit more minimal when it comes to her decor. We try to kind of channel her things, her taste, her things she likes. Um, and these flowers are like several days old, maybe a week old at this point, and they're beautiful still. You can tell the, the leaves are wilting slightly, but I'm gonna enjoy them as long as I can. I really love these little glass bud vases though. They are so versatile. You can use them year round and I love them. Okay, trying to think what else I got from Target just to now that we're kind of drifting onto all the Target things. Myla is home from school now and she's going to give mommy a hug. I love this girl. All right, so the next thing I grabbed from Target is this towel from Hearth and Hand. And it is just like taupey goodness. It is soft. I love the fringe at the bottom. So this is a bath towel. And I also grabbed a hand towel, but I guess it's not, it's not with me right now. Um, I love this color. I'm thinking that we may use these folded on a little stool or maybe hanging on a little hook in our bathroom. So super excited and by bathroom I mean half bathroom the one that we're working on right now so I am really excited to see how that all comes together then I grabbed a two pack of these pillows they are kind of like a corduroy material they're super soft and cozy but it looks really good with this one that I got from world market I like to keep things just pretty neutral and I love how soft and cozy these are so this is a two pack. Like I said, I think it was two for 20, which felt like an amazing deal. I made my first ever purchase from McGee and Co. And I was so excited. Um, I, I just have, I guess I just like buy from Studio McGee at Target and hadn't really checked out their website, but I might be hooked. It might be a problem. I only got two things. I wanted a little riser for our vanity in the half bath. 
and I love this. It is something I would find at an antique store, honestly. It is beautiful. It is super, super rustic looking, and I'm just really excited about it. So I got that, and then I also got this cute wick trimmer in that antique brass color that I like and I'm setting it on a different riser on our entryway table with a candle. My kids found this and have been trimming wicks ever since. So, um, but it really is so beautiful. I love that just aged antique brass look. So, my first two purchases from McGee & Co, very satisfied. Next up is Amazon, and I am just a sucker for beautiful cookbooks, and also just like coffee table books. You can put books all throughout your house, and I love this one. This one is called Sunday Suppers, Recipes and Gatherings, and it is a beautiful linen, kind of like sagey green. I thought it'd be pretty in my kitchen and on my coffee table, bookshelf, you name it. And one thing that I love so much about this book, aside from all of the beautiful pictures, I mean, absolutely gorgeous photos. Um, aside from all of that, she actually sets you up for like an entire day of meals. So you can choose from morning, noon, afternoon, evening, and then let's do morning in bed, page 12. So just, I mean, would you even look at this? Like putting this out on a little cookbook stand in your kitchen would be so pretty. So the menu is cream biscuits with jam butters, perfectly scrambled eggs, greens, blood orange halved, green juice, French press coffee. This meal is simple yet delicious. The eggs are so soft, they will remind you of Paris. This is my favorite way to celebrate with a loved one. And the, the recipes are amazing. So anyway, can't say enough good things. I haven't tried anything in it yet, but it's a beautiful book and I'm excited to add this to my cookbook collection. Okay, next thing I grabbed was from Amazon and it is another little wooden riser. I got this one because the wood reminded me a lot of the entryway table that we have and um, I wanted to put a little candle as I mentioned and my little wick trimmer on there so I'll add in some footage of that styled so you can kind of get an idea. I want to just bring this up. This is not a dog on Amazon because y'all know I love, love Amazon home decor and other things but Studio McGee. Amazon. I wish you could feel. This is easily a couple of pounds. This is as light as a feather. Um, quality, I can see the glue on the Amazon one. Again, it's a beautiful riser and it completely serves the purpose that I need it for. But if I were going to splurge, I would definitely recommend the one from Studio Mickey. Um, I just wanted to share that. I think sometimes through video, it's harder to see and you don't get to feel the product. Um, so I wanted to share that. Okay, friends, the last thing that I want to share today is the most beautiful stool. And I really didn't know what to expect. Like I said, I'd never ordered from them before. So I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see. I just don't have the time to go thrifting right now. Um, we have a crazy couple of weeks and it, I just knew that wasn't going to be an option for me. So then I went to the internet and I found Etsy has so many great options, so many small shops selling European stools. They are very pricey though. And I knew that they just weren't going to fit in our budget. So did a Google search, found this on Zara home and I love it. So one thing they did say on the website is that you know, obviously this is made out of solid wood. So the coloring may vary from piece to piece. I'm just pleasantly surprised and happy with the piece that I got because it works perfectly for our decor. But again, super solid, like great quality stool. And I'm either gonna put a little plant on here or a little candle. Um, I was thinking about maybe even some folded towels. There's so many different ways I can style this throughout the seasons. I'm even already thinking about Christmas, <laughs> like a little cute pine tree on there would be adorable. So 
Anyway, we're gonna get great use out of this. Honestly, I'm contemplating getting another one for a different area of our home because I just love it so much. It's a great little plant stand for spring and summer. So pleasantly surprised. Okay, let's go ahead and get these frames put together, do a little bit of decorating with them, and then hopefully my groceries will be delivered. I don't know about y'all, but for some reason, I tend to get more out of writing my schedule down on paper instead of putting it in my phone. I mean, I definitely put it in my phone and have alerts and all those things, but in the chaos of the week, it is so nice to be able to just look at something with everything all written out together. It makes me feel less overwhelmed. My mind is less chaotic, and I've really been wanting a weekly planner in my office, so this is the perfect solution. I love that I can just wipe it off and be done and start over for a new week. I am going to be now adding some of my prints to our sideboard here in our office. And I just love, I love these prints. They are so me, so my style. I love the greens. It feels so springy with the little olive plant and all of the viney greenery on the larger print. I think they just look so beautiful displayed in our home. Groceries are here, perfect timing, because I'm starving. So I'm glad that I didn't have to go to the grocery store hungry. So Costco is about 30 minutes, there's two actually, and they're both about 30 minutes away from us. And sometimes we'll go on the weekends, but I have such a short span of time when Mila is at preschool, it would basically take up my whole morning. So I'm super thankful for Instacart and I do not mind paying the extra little bit to do that because I actually save money not being in the store. So carrots, um, these are gonna be good for the kids lunches but I am also going to slice them um, vertically and roast them in the oven for some of our meals. Good way to get in veggies for the kids and they all like carrots, so that's a win. Um, sweet potato fries. We have two picky eaters, like picky, 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 but one that would rather just never eat food if it isn't like exactly what he wants. So sometimes th this is one of the things he likes. So sometimes I just go for it and you win some, you lose some, they're sweet potatoes, right? That's just what I tell myself. Um, Lots of fruit. We've got strawberries, raspberries. These are mine. This is like my snack. Um, yeah, kids love strawberries. I don't feel like I need to elaborate on that. And then tonight for dinner, we are having chicken fajitas. And so I got some fresh peppers and I'll probably slice all of these and then saute them with some fajita seasoning, some avocado oil, and I also grabbed a rotisserie chicken, which I do almost every single time that we do go to Costco or do a delivery. Their rotisserie chickens are massive. They have no added hormones or steroids, um, and they taste delicious, but they're huge. So what I'm going to do is slice it kind of into or cut it into like strips as best as I can, and then um, I will put it in this skillet with my peppers. And I think I have an onion I might slice up and do the same thing. So that'll be a really easy dinner tonight. Cut up some fruit as a side. We use the Siete uh, almond flour tortillas. And so I actually already have some from our last Costco trip. That's the good thing about Costco is some stuff lasts a really long time. And those don't go bad fast. So I love those. Got some snacks for the kids. I don't know if I've shared on YouTube before, but um, 
our boys' school and soon to be Myla's school is nut free. So sometimes we have to get a little creative with food. They love these. They're also big plantain chip fans, which I love because it's just plantains, palm oil, and salt. Some other snacks that the kids and I really enjoy are these harvest snacks. So got a nice big bag. And what I do is in our pantry, we have these big clear containers and I have them labeled and some of them just say like snacks and I will just dump these in there and then they're easy to access and they don't go stale. If I don't do that, then just no matter what, there's always waste because the bags end up coming open. The kids will like go in for a little snack and then not put the little clip back on and they're done for. So I really love those containers I got um, from Target. This is my guilty pleasure. I am obsessed with these heavenly hunks. They are actually heavenly. They are so delicious. Um, they are gluten-free. They're vegan too, so they're dairy-free as well. Um, honestly, they're amazing. I like those sometimes if I, I don't have time to have like a true breakfast. Sometimes I'll take a couple of those on the go. We are going to try out this roasted garlic chicken from Kevin's. We have tried a lot of their different meals and they're definitely cheaper to buy larger like this at Costco than the smaller ones. You can buy them at like Target. Um, it's definitely more expensive to get the little ones, but um, we really like their coconut curry chicken, I think it's called. So good with some rice. All right, chicken tortilla soup. Got this for Chad. He takes his lunch nearly every day to work and was needing some lunch options. My pickiest eater loves non bread. So I'll try to do like non bread, veggies, some fruit, and like a protein for him for school lunches. So um, these are great too. We have used them as like mini pizzas as they show on the back. And then also I love this idea. We haven't done this before, but doing peanut butter and banana. I think he would love that. I know my other two kids would. So I really like those. Okay. A couple more snacks for the kids. We don't usually do like gummies, but um, I do love these. They have real fruit purees, real fruit juices, and no artificial flavors in them. And they, they actually taste really good. These ones are for Chad and I. The kids could totally have them, but they much prefer these. Um, these are literally two ingredients. They are just fruit. No preservatives, no added sugars, literally fruit. I love these so much. Okay, I have piles of things everywhere, but we're getting close. Grapes, gotta stock up on that fruit. The kids love these for sometimes breakfast or lunches. They're just the little smoothies. Um, again, because we are not free, these maybe wouldn't be my number one choice for granola bar type of snacks, but here we are. My kids love Z-Bars and there really are only a couple of options as far as nut-free goes. Um, we do love the Made Good brand at Target as well. And then got them some fruit cups for lunches. These ones are just in juice. And then always having sparkling water. The kids love it. Chad and I love it. <laughs> I try to switch up some of their snacks. So we got Pirate's Booty this time, which the kids love. And then I've got three more things and I almost just dropped all of these eggs. <laughs> but um, I love getting eggs at Costco. I don't have any chickens in the backyard. So this is usually where I grab eggs. We go through eggs pretty often. I'm trying this for the first time today. So it's you know what, I'm not even gonna try it. It's ramen. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but um, I thought these could be good lunch options for Chad and I. Um, and then I do have some other things like in the fridge. We've got some salad kits and different things that are just like quick and easy. The last thing are these Orgain Kids Protein Shakes. These have been a lifesaver for us 
honestly, in the morning, it's so hard. The kids have to be up at 6.30 for school and that is a struggle and it doesn't allow a whole lot of breakfast time for them, but that is like the earliest we can get them out of bed. So um, these have been so great. I would say that I'm mortified to show you what's inside my fridge, just as far as like it being disorganized, but I know that this is real life. So our fridge is a hot mess. So much stuff. Just need to go through it and clean it out. So I am going to do that real quick. fridge was so overdue for a complete clear out and scrub down. I ended up reading the labels on nearly everything and getting rid of the things that I knew we weren't going to eat or use. I really hate to waste, but there were things that were just too far gone and we had to dump them. I really need to be better about doing this more often, but here we are. It feels so, so good to have a clean, stocked fridge so this is your friendly reminder if you haven't done this in a while i would definitely recommend it okay friends i went to uh film the end of this video and both of my camera batteries were totally dead. So I just wanted to pop on here on my phone and let y'all know that I'm so thankful that you tuned in for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that you got some organization inspo and some decorating ideas. I hope that you enjoyed this one. It had quite a variety in it. I am sitting here eating a little bit of the ramen that I picked up from Costco. And I wanted to share just my thoughts on it. I don't love it. I think Chad might like it more than I do. It's just kind of flavorless. I don't know if I need to add something to it. I'm not a huge ramen eater, so I wouldn't even know what to add. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But again, I wanted to thank Decenio for sponsoring today's video. I am so in love with my frames. They look so good in my office with those beautiful prints. And I finally have my calendar that I can just stay organized. So anyway, y'all, thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.